I actually quite like this question. It's seven marks for really just a bit of maths. Uh, there's a couple of steps to that, as you'd expect for a seven mark uh, question. And it's not immediately obvious what you need to do. But remember, whenever you're talking about ratio changes of pressure, volume, or temperature, you're using the ideal gas law. And there's loads of different ways that the ideal gas law can be expressed. Sometimes one way is more useful than another. Essentially, if you know something's constant in the ideal gas law, you can kind of ignore it as long as you know the free laws of proportionality that the ideal gas law sums up. An electric drinks cooler is an appliance consisting of a thermally insulated compartment. Heat pump transfers heat from the inside of the cooler to the room in which the cooler is placed. This maintains temperature of the inside of the cooler below the temperature of the room, so heat's going from it to the outside. On closing the door of the cooler, warm air at atmospheric pressure and a temperature of this is trapped inside. After a time, the internal temperature is this. Okay, so we've got a change in temperature. Let's get you thinking straight away. A student notices the door is difficult to open and concludes this is because the air inside has cooled down and reduced the pressure. Carry out a calculation to assess the validity of the student's conclusion. This means you're going to have to make a comment at the end. So you're doing a calculation basically to think, well, why is it difficult to open? And is this because of the reduced pressure? So I've got a few things already here. Um, I hope you're thinking change in temperature. Let's make this T1. And let's convert it straight into Kelvin by adding 273. And let's make this T2. Uh, 276.3. And let's convert this pressure, why not? Just so we don't make that sloppy error a little bit later on. Now you're going to have to use your gas laws. So I suggest you go ahead and find the gas laws in your equation sheet. But again, well, look, I've already done some work on this. Take your gas law, PV is NKT, and memorize it in its various forms. So PV over T, I'll make that all 111, is equal to P2V2 over T2. So N and K are usually be, going to be a constant. You're only going to need them if you're asked to work out the number of particles um, and you're not. There's nothing in there so far that's going to say that. So I'm going to copy it down in this form because this is more useful for answering this kind of ratio change so well have I been given a volume no but I have been told well I haven't been told but I'm presuming this is going to be a fixed volume so I'm going to leave my V's when I write my next line just subbing in my data essentially I want to know what P2 is is all of that times that. Ninety five point four times ten to the three Pascals. Now I'll probably pick myself up some marks there so far. Um, I've got conversion to Kelvin, I've got use of the ideal gas law got pressure I've actually got three marks so far all right, well what's the difference in pressure then okay well that's going to be the, the difference between this and this and then I'm going to say well that difference in pressure between the outside and the inside is going to cause a force and if pressure is force over area it's just something I remember I, I think it is in your formula sheet yeah pressure is force over area, uh, then force is pressure times area. But because we've got it, we're talking about a pressure difference, we're not going to use the absolute pressure inside. We're going to say it's harder to open because there's an extra force outside um, from inside. Essentially, there's now a bit of an unbalanced force going on, and we have to overcome that as well when we are opening the, um, the drinks cooler. So what's, if you, if you like, delta P? Cool. 
6.6 times 10 to the 3. So um, I'm just going to have to multiply that by the area, which I'm given in meters squared, so that's fine. So F is 6.6 .6 times 10 to the 3 times 0 0.15. Not point nine nine times ten to the three. So essentially about a thousand newtons, which is a pretty large force. So my last thing I need to make a statement of is that this is a large force. So it would be hard to open. Large force would be harder to open, is the point you need to make there. Be aware of this, okay, they, they, in this new scheme, they're liking to ask you to do this, assess the validity of something. You're gonna do it via maths, you're gonna make a statement at the end, okay? They're gonna to like to say this to you, to ask you to assess the validity of something or conclude from a calculation that you've made. If it says that, don't forget to add in that final statement summing up what your calculation exactly shows.